reality. Hi, I'm Derek at Reality, and today we'll be demonstrating the BLK2GO from Leica Geosystems. In this video, I'll be walking you through how to use the BLK2GO to make a quick scan of an office building. Out of Leica's entire line of laser scanning equipment, the BLK2GO is the most economical, lightweight, and easy to use. The BLK2GO will allow you to rapidly create an accurate 3D map of an area, whether it be an indoor or an outdoor environment. The speed with which you can map an area with the BLK2GO is unparalleled, because all you have to do is walk around the site. You can literally be in and out in just a few minutes. As the BLK2GO is a handheld device, there's no tripods or heavy equipment to set up or lug around from setup to setup. All I need to complete this job is the BLK2GO itself and its small base, which is small enough to fit in my pocket. After setting the scanner on its base, I turn it on by holding the power button for a few moments. The ring light will flash as it's starting up and then turn green when it's ready to go. At this point, I have the option of connecting the BLK2GO to the BLK2GO Live app on my phone. I simply open the app and connect to the scanner's Wi-Fi signal. The BLK2GO Live app is available for both iOS and Android devices. To begin scanning, I hold down the power button again for just a second. The ring light will start flashing again, and the app will remind me to press the scanner firmly down onto its base while the scan begins. This is because the BLK2GO has moving parts concealed in its dome, and the scanner should be held still while it initiates. When the ring turns green again, I simply lift the scanner off its base and begin walking around the site, holding the scanner in front of me. Because of its moving parts, the BLK2GO will jiggle a little bit in my hand, but this is normal, it will not affect the quality of the scan. As I walk around the site, the BLK2GO Live app will show me a graphical representation of the point cloud as it's being built. The path I've taken will be represented as a green line. This will help me keep track of where I've already been and areas which still need to be scanned. Using a revolutionary combination of SLAM and Viz technology, the BLK2GO tracks its own location in real time as you carry it around the site. In its price bracket, no other laser scanner on the market matches the BLK2GO in both accuracy and speed. Depending on the project size and complexity, you may decide to scan the entire site in a single walk or break it up into several smaller walks, stopping and starting the scanner between each. Later, when you import the data onto your computer, each individual walk will be imported as a separate point cloud, all of which can then be combined if you wish. With the BLK2GO's built-in 12 megapixel detail camera, I could pause anywhere along my walk to take photographs, which will then be automatically geotagged within my point cloud. Taking a geotagged photograph is as easy as briefly pressing the scanner's power button and pointing the scanner at the subject. When passing through doors, I slow down a bit, allowing the scanner to see both rooms at the same time, strengthening the bond between both areas. When I'm finished scanning, the last step is to return the scanner to its base. All I have to do is put the BLK to go back into its base again and hold the power button for a few seconds to end the walk. The ring light will flash until its moving parts have come to a halt. Hold the power down again for a few seconds to turn off the scanner. To replace the battery, simply take it out and pop in a new one. The blk to go comes with three batteries and a charger. To import your scan data into your computer, remove the battery from the blk to go and plug in the included USB-C cable. For this demo, we're importing with Cyclone Register 360. Make a new project and select the blk to go option Connect to the BLK2GO, select the walks you want, and import. In our example today, it's just a single walk, nice and easy. Click the Import button and Register360 will now convert the raw data into its own native file format. You'll want to choose whether you import the 360 images and if so, at what frequency. Everything looks good, so I select the Finalize tab and click the Accept button, then I accept the sitemap. Under the Publish options, I can choose from any number of common point cloud file formats for my final deliverable. I'm going to export as an LGS file, which I can then send to the client with the free TrueView app. We look into Cyclone Register 360 more in depth in other videos. 
Check the notes below for more details and be sure to follow us on social media to keep up to date on everything Reality Capture. Oh,